Hey guys, it's Steve from Auto Alley. I'm here today to show you the new 3D nano drum system and specifically how to set it up using the 3D proportioner. That way you get the most accurate dilution ratios and you don't waste product. Uh, the nano series is phenomenal because of its high concentration levels. It is far surpassing anything that 3D normally does in their traditional five gallons, like their orange degreaser, pink car soap, grand slam, these are so much more concentrated that it's going to save you a lot of money and a lot of space. Because if you notice, we have this all set up on a rack that's only 30 inches by 14 inches deep by about 24 inches tall. It is not a tall rack at all, um, but we can fit everything we need onto it. And once we get into really setting up the machine, you'll really see how little space this takes. So. We got you know, our five nano series products here. We have our soap, our APC, the greaser, wheel cleaner, and glass cleaner. And you can run all five products off of this one machine, which is so great. Um, just so you guys know, for those who don't wanna buy the machine, there are hand dilution ratios on the back and you can see it is per gallon. So in case of the citrus APC, that's three ounces per gallon of water. Not your traditional three to one, which is three ounces of water to one ounce of concentrate. This is three ounces to one gallon of water. But if you really want accurate dilution, the system, there's nothing better. So let's dig into getting the system set up. You know, this is what you see coming out of the box and you get a whole bunch of parts and that's what we're gonna run through. You get a bunch of tubes, you get a bunch of weights, you get tips. You will also need a few additional things, which include the cable ties, a Sharpie and the hose because you need to connect the water supply. Those don't come with it. The rack does not come with the proportioner either. And you're gonna have a bunch of options depending on how big of a shop you have and what size rack you wanna go with. But the first thing you do is this is what you would see on our website in terms of a picture, how it's set up with two here and three down on the bottom. First thing you wanna do, turn these sideways and move these down. You never want your product's going into a proportioner above the proportioner, right? The proportioner works by sucking product up into it with water coming down through. However, if your product is up above the proportioner, it's just gonna leak right out onto the floor, wasting a bunch of your money and making a big mess that you're gonna have to spend time cleaning up. So just turn them sideways and keep the caps towards the front. That way it's gonna make it a little bit easier to run your hoses for you. So we got that all set up. So let's dig into the proportioner itself. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do, take the button off, right? You don't want this popping off once you're gonna take the metal piece off. Next, I'm gonna take the time to decide where I want my products going. Now your soap goes through the one side, so you don't have to worry about putting your soap on any of the labels. I'm gonna go, with the two most popular ones that I'm gonna use on top, that would be APC and degreaser. And then I'm gonna put glass cleaner and wheels on the bottom. All right, so to get inside of it, there's a convenient little tab on the top. You're just going to push down and push forward. And then there's three little prongs right down here. So you got to kind of lift it up to get it off. The first time you open it, if it makes a loud pop, don't be surprised. Don't get scared by it. That's just the first time it opening up. All right, we're going to set this over here. And then you're going to get to see the inside of the machine. Now, I already have it partially connected to the rack. And this is why you need the cable ties. You're going to need about six to eight cable ties all together. Just in case you make a mistake, you got some extra ones. And then you're gonna start by putting your first set, I always start on the left side away from the bar because it makes it easier because when you do your next step, it'll balance itself somewhat. But you're gonna go two cable ties, you're gonna use that little notch, and then it's really hard to see, but there's an opening in the back that you're gonna feed your cable tie through. So I'll show you over here how we do that. 
but you just need two long cable ties. These are eight inch cable ties. Just picked them up at Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, the rack also came from Home Depot, in case you're in the need for buying a rack or a shelving unit. Feed that through, feed this through. Pull it tight and you're good. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you keep your ties to the right and to the left of these units because these are gonna slide up and down. You don't want those ties getting in the way and, and creating a problem for you. Once you have the whole machine connected to the rack, you can start connecting the tubes to get product into your system. So this is where a little bit, you gotta remember how you set up your four, because we're gonna do the four first. The first thing you need to do is you need to put your dilution tips in. And the dilution tips come in two sizes, small and big, for lack of, keep it simple. All right, small ones obviously go into the small ports. There's four of them on the right. There's one of them on the left. Your left side is gonna pump out four gallons of mixture per minute. That's why you run your wash through here so you can fill up your wash bucket much quicker. These pump out one gallon per minute, and since you're filling up a 32 ounce bottle, it's only gonna take you 15 seconds to fill that bottle completely. So, you might be asking yourself, what tips do I gotta use? Because there's a bunch of colors in the pack. Ignore the sheet that comes with them. That is a generic sheet, doesn't pertain to the nano system at all. You will get, from us, the complete tip sheet, which gives you the different tips you need to use with the different levels of dilution that you want. So basically, for most part, you're gonna to wanna to just go with regular strength because a regular strength citrus APC, that equals your orange degreaser at a four to one dilution ratio. So really, if you're using orange degreaser four to one, you just wanna go regular strength. Same with Grand Slam, same with wheel cleaner. So. Set up the APC first, and according to the tip sheet, I need the white tip. Going in for APC, it's in the upper left corner, so you want to screw the tip in, and this is where you have to be pretty steady handed because if you drop it, you got to keep track of it. All right, your next one is your degreaser. Now, when you look at the sheet, you'll notice that the tips are the same for degreaser and APC. Generally, if you're running into something difficult, it would be grease. You'd use your degreaser on that. So instead of going regular strength, I'm gonna up that to extra strength on this case, which is the green tip. Then we got our wheel cleaner, which is the black tip. And then last, you have your glass cleaner, which is the red tip. So you will have tips left over. That's okay. These are the four you need to use the nano drum system on the one gallon per minute flow. For the soap, it tells you you need the gray tip. So since the soap goes over here, you go to your big tips and you find the gray one and pay particular attention. There's a clear and there's a white and they don't look all that different from the gray. So make sure you're grabbing the gray tip. And that goes in right here. Okay. Now you can start connecting your product into the machine. Now the nice thing is this proportioner gives you pre-measured tubing with your backflow valve already put on the end of the tubing, makes it very simple. And there's gonna, you're gonna see four tubes with a 3 8 inch diameter, you're gonna see one clear tube that's a 5 8 inch diameter. 5 8 is for your car wash. 3 8 is gonna be for your cleaners over on the side. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, a little counterweight, because you're gonna want that backflow valve to stay into the bottom of your gallon. Now, I'm not trimming these up today, but you can very easily, depending on how much you need, Trim it up. You don't want to go product more than six feet away from your proportioner unit. So this gives you plenty of length to do that complete six feet. But 
you know, if you don't need to do that, you're going to want to definitely trim it up. So let's pop the caps off these guys. Right. Caps are off. Let's do our first two. And this is where we refer back to our labeling system to make sure we have the right port going to the right product. So we'll start with the greaser. And this is always a little tricky because you got to filter it in through the back of the machine. So if you go to wall mount this, you're going to, it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit. So that's why we did it on a rack. I'd recommend it on a rack. Push it all the way down. And then this just goes into your gallon. Normally you'd want to trim those up, that way you don't have a whole bunch of excess flowing, but for sake of time on the video, we're going to create that. Let's do our second one. Okay, so it's going to be easy. Last one here. Now, if for any reason you ever need to replace tubing, tubing is sold at Lowe's or Home Depot. This is just plain vinyl tubing. Uh, it's nothing super specific in terms of chemical resistance, so you can just buy the normal tubing at Lowe's or Home Depot. This one's one of our last one here. So we now have all of our concentrates connected into the gallon, into the machine. We're going to do the car wash real quick here. Once again, they want to come in in this one through the bottom, which I failed to. And you do want to take the time to make sure you get it pushed up all the way. If you don't have it up all the way and you go to start your proportioner, the force coming out will push the tube off. So make sure you get it up all the way there. We got all of our products connected going into the machine. Now we got to connect the tubes coming out of the machine to fill your bottles. So those are this little guy, which is going to be used on the one gallon per minute for your 32 ounce bottles. And I have tried this in advance of the video. These are difficult to get on. So don't get too frustrated because they are a stiff material. And it's not going to be as easy the first time as this one was. Because you also have to get this a good bit up the tube because if you don't get it up the tube and up the enough this is going to be too long for your bottle and then you have your car wash fill this is longer so you can keep your bucket on the ground and it's going to have a nice little hook here that you can just hook right onto the side here to keep it flowing up so you don't have it dripping on the ground so now we have everything connected going into the machine we're now going to connect our water supply, which you will need to buy an extra hose, but it's just a normal traditional hose, nothing fancy. If you're saying, well, I can't run my one nozzle into my proportioner, that's where the, the hose Y connectors come in. It gives you two ports coming off of here. That way you're not going to be running something out of the one port plus filling up bottles at the same time. So you have plenty of pressure. You'll be good to go, especially if you get the high flow Y. That in. Make sure that's nice and tight because you don't want that squirting water on you. And then our hose is a little still tangled even after being left out, but your hose will. So when you're getting it set up, have your bucket handy 
because you're going to have time where water's coming out before the chemical flows from your gallons into the machine. So tell you what, we have that currently, this is set to wheel cleaner. So let's go ahead and do that one. And basically, under normal circumstances, you would put your 32 ounce bottle right into here, right up top, and lift. You notice how you got some pressure there? So we're just gonna do that with a bucket because you're gonna have a lot of water coming through. And you'll see in the hose, it's starting to pull through already. See how quickly it's already turned color. There's your wheel cleaner. You know, if we put the knob back on, we can get them all going here. Or I'm sorry, that was our degreaser. Now we're doing our super citrus APC. Glass cleaner. Oh, there goes our wheel cleaner. Come on. This one's a little bit thicker. Yeah, it looks like we might have a little pinch in here. We did. Okay, so that should that should solve that. There we go. So there we go. We have all of our 32 ounce bottles primed. Let's get our soap primed. In soap, nice thing is you get the handy dandy little switch. There you go, you can see the soap filling up. There we go. There's the water coming out. Now let's get our cover back on. And this is somewhat tricky because you have to get the three metal tabs on the bottom into that first. And and then press down. And you're snapped into place. We'll get our knob. You want to make sure there's a little prong on the bottom. You want to make sure that's lined up there. And then your knob nozzle, if you look in here, there's this little piece sticking out on the top left there. Just line that little tab right there up with it, and you'll be on your way. So now we got them all hooked up, we got everything running through it. So let's fill a bottle of APC, put it in here, and there you go. You got your APC coming, filling up. Notice it's not foaming too, too much, so it's not pouring out of the bottle. You got your sun coming up, there you go. You have a 32 ounce bottle ready to go for you. Super Citrus APC, we'll do one more. So let's say you got your APC, now you need some degreaser, back on. Yes, you do get a little APC mixing with it. That's not gonna hurt anything, that's gonna be perfectly fine. Um, and there you go. You've now, on your way to using the 3D Nano system with the proportioner, accurately measuring everything out, not going to waste any product, going to save you a bunch of money. So, hey, thanks for taking the time to watch. Once again, I'm T from Autoality. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us, customer service at autoality.com, or you can always give us a call, 412-364-7900, and we're happy to help you troubleshoot or get you set up.